from an Airstream somewhere in Tornado Alley, bringing you the people, places, and stories from the Panhandle to the Red River. This is your Only in Oklahoma show. We're headed to the Wooler Rock Wildlife Preserve. I'm Brett. And I am Harley. So something has been brought to my attention most recently. I don't get out enough anymore. You do not. I don't. I feel like I... And I've started doing things like that I would never... I'm not one to share drinks with people, okay? But I will literally eat baby... Like if it's a good baby food that I've... Because I've learned to like a few. I'm literally... Got to where now I will eat baby food. It's not even, I don't even go, you're going to eat that? I, I just eat it off of the dirty, like the tray. Oh my God. I just eat it right off of the high chair tray. Oh, you're so gross. Am I though? Yes. I I don't feel like it's, I, I just feel like I've changed as a person. You have to get out more. I do. I've got... <laughs> I have to get out more. I've got Tara. She's in the throes of pregnancy. You know, I mentioned uh, taking a long road trip. You're like, dude, she's, you know, nine months pregnant. She's not going to want to sit in the car for 13 hours or 10 hours or eight hours. I got to. I want to break free. I got to break free. Dude, you seriously need to get your stuff figured out. What do I do? I don't know. You're killing the show, though. This. I. You see the inside of your office and the inside of your house. <laughs> and that's it. Like, what are we going to do a show about? Like, is there stuff to do? I ate in another taco truck. We're at uh, on the other side of Santa Fe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still buying local. I don't know where it was. I just slowed down. I held up money. They gave me tacos. I went to work. Because I couldn't get out of the... Well, that and I couldn't get out of the car because I had to take the kid with me to work. I'm working on it, man. <laughs> I'm working on it. And we've had a ton of great ideas. We've got a ton of great ideas. We've talked uh, ad nauseum what we would do if we had an, an unlimited income. And all of them have to do with being right here in Oklahoma. They do. And speaking of that, we have a great place to check out. The yes. Wall Rock Museum and Wildlife Preserve. And we'll get to that right after this. Yes. So there are certain things in this world... That you want addressed by an expert. I thought you were going to say there are certain things in this world you can't avoid. Death and taxes. I really thought that's what you were going to say. No, I think there are certain things that when it comes to it, Mm -hmm. you don't want to do it yourself. I've done a lot of things on my own and... You've been a witness to most of them and none of them have been successful. You and I (laughs) put an AC unit... In a 2001 Honda Civic. <laughs> yeah. We that did. is like officially 3.6 flag hours at a shop to have that done. It only <laughs> took you and I 3.6 days <laughs> of nonstop work where we're sweating. We've got grease in our eyeballs. Right. We're like crying about stuff hurting that's yeah. never hurt on us before the whole time. And when, when it was all said and done, it was like that was like a hundred and thirteen dollar job if we'd have taken it down the street. And then we turned the AC on. Is it working? Yeah, better than the other one. You know, it wasn't <laughs> not. You know, we weren't quite to where we we're like, holy shit. And then Amber was like, you guys are never going to work on our my car, and you have never worked on a car since. I have, I haven't. But you know, even after we were done with that job, we spent three and a half days working on that, <clears throat> working on that AC. Yeah. The car made a weird squealing it noise. It never went away. Whenever you turned on the air conditioner from then on. Right. So with that being said, I think another thing that you do not want to try to do yourself. Right. Taxes. Taxes. It, that's got to be, no, I have to say, number one, probably with that in self-lobotomization. I just think that those two things, you need a professional. Yeah, I mean, it's one thing that your air conditioner might make a little squeaking noise when you when you turn it on to begin with. Mm-hmm. But it's a whole nother thing. If you mess up on your taxes, 
and the IRS goons show up at your door. <laughs> right. I promise you, that's a squealing noise you don't want to hear. Right. Or you didn't give yourself enough money and your wallet squeals when you open it up. Exactly. So if you need any assistance with your taxes, you definitely want to reach out to the folks over at Holiday Tax Group. You know, I've, there's an expression. Advice is free. In this case, it's worth it. You get a 30-minute consultation. They're going to tell you exactly what you're missing, exactly where you're... Before you jump out there, they're going to show you how to jump out of the plane, with it, with at least with a parachute. That is a weird mixed it is. metaphor. It is. It is. But they do give a discount <laughs> to all military personnel and teachers. It's 20% off. So call for your free tax consultation. Oh, my God. Why can't... Call now for Call your free. T- <laughs> no, I love it. Call we're now. It. We're keeping it in. We're Call gonna, now. We're keeping it in. Can you get a bit? Yeah. I got to say the words. Call now for your free 30 minute consultation. It's 405 730 3100. Or you can find them at www.holidaytaxgroup.com. It's holiday with two L's. You and I have talked many times about roughing it, doing the dude ranch thing. Being in the in the wilds of of Oklahoma, and there's a place where you can literally it, like if you're a a medieval fair, like a Renaissance, like if they had a Renaissance fair for pioneer people, they would have it here. Uh, and they do have an event like that, but right. this is uh, we're talking about the Wool Rock Museum and Wildlife Preserve in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. It was established in 1925 as a ranch retreat for oil man Frank Phillips. Yes, and it makes it, there were so many Frank Phillips. If the if the name doesn't sound completely familiar, do yourself a favor. Uh, if you've heard of Phillips sixty six, he was the founder of Phillips Refinery. He was the dinosaur. The dinosaur. He was the fossil. The, the dinosaur that they had in front of every Phillips sixty six. No, that was a Sinclair. Was it a Sinclair? Yeah, that was a Sinclair. That's okay. No, there, go back to it then. Let's no, it's up. fine. We're, we're, not start, we're not cutting it out. We have to cut it out. It's stupid. He was <laughs> he was a dinosaur. I, I thought we were saying that we were, they used Frank Phillips as fossil <laughs> for the fossil fuel. The Phillips. Frank, the Phillipsosaurus. Frank Phillips <laughs> is now officially a dinosaur. No, he's, no, he's, he's officially a, a fossil fuel. He is officially a fossil fuel, but yes, Phillips of the Phillips 66, Phillips Petroleum, that's the guy. I did not know that. And now you know the rest of the story. That's it. The show's over. We've done it all. <laughs> so the ranch is a 3,700-acre wildlife preserve. 3,700 acres is a lot. That's a lot. It's it- not... It's, yeah, it's, it, that's 37 with two zeros. It's a lot. It's home to a lot of native and exotic wildlife, bison, elk, longhorn cattle. There's a lot to see out there. Yes. And we've kind of researched this in the past. It's not just a wildlife refuge. It's, you don't just, it's, it, I think a lot of people think Arbuckle Wilderness. I, this is a lot more, I don't know. I, I, would you dare say, a, how would you say that? This is Arbuckle Wilderness for pioneers. I wouldn't even say that. It's I wouldn't even I wouldn't make the comparison. I actually don't want to make the comparison. Okay, then don't make it. I'm just saying I don't want to make the comparison. I was thinking that I was going to play off of it, and okay, then I was like, don't. I don't want to make the comparison. Hey. Is, Go do it. Take it. Okay, so it's not just a wildlife preserve. I've done some research myself. They have a museum as well. Now, most recently, if you've been keeping up with the media, Hollywood kind of landed uh, in Osage County. Uh, they've been doing a lot of work with Hollywood and with film producers and directors. And most recently, they even hosted a meeting with the Osage Nation at Wool Rock Museum with Leonardo DiCaprio, the producers, and uh, director uh, Martin Scorsese for a film that's going to be filming in in and around that area uh, called The uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. So there's a lot. I mean, it's, it's a huge draw. It is, but... Th- there's more there than yeah. just the wildlife preserve. They have a museum with an outstanding collection of Western art and ad- art and artifacts, Native American material, one of the finest collections of Colt firearms in the world. I like a Colt firearm. Like a Colt 45? <laughs> <laughs> what, is that not a thing? What? <laughs> I felt like we're talking about Dungeons and Dragons here. Dude, I thought, I, when you said Colt 45, I automatically think of... 
Billy D. Williams. Billy D. Williams. Yes. Lando Calrissian. Absolutely. So, the, yeah, you say Code 45, I laugh. I'm yeah. sorry. It's okay. Coming online any minute now, work has already been begun on a major capital improvement with complete renovation of the current Heritage Center. Mm-hmm. Uh, when the project is completed, Willow Rock will have a state-of-the-art welcome center along with a brand new dining facility. You know, Will Rogers said a lot of things about Oklahoma and about... He always had a funny quip, or he, he was just a man of, of many words. Dude, he, everything that Will Rogers said yeah. is like, it's standalone, a great thing. Yeah. Like every I don't think the guy said anything that wasn't quotable. Well, and when he mentions your place, like if he talks about like literally your your house, your ranch. Right. That's a big deal. And he once was quoted as saying, when you're visiting the beauty spots of this country, don't overlook Frank Phillips' ranch in Game Preserve in Bartlesville. I mean, it's the most unique place in this country. That's that's pretty tall cotton. If if Will Rogers says you have the most unique place in this country, yeah. I mean It's high praise. It is high praise. And he was also right about the weather. <laughs> <laughs> I really, re- it really ticks me off. What when people from other places, yeah, quote Will Rogers, yeah, and replace Oklahoma with anything else. Oh yeah, or they don't. They it's almost like they change one thing just to make it sound like it's not. You're like, no, that's a that's a Will Rogers. Yeah, you Will Wod- <laughs> that's a Will Rogers. <laughs> Golly, Will Rogers and Will Walk. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I can't pronounce either one of them. One of the things that really caught our eye when it comes to Willow Rock, though, yeah, are the events. There's a ton of stuff to do there. Basically, from March until September, they've got all sorts of stuff. But the, one of the things that right off the bat caught my eye is the Willow Rock's Mountain Man Camp. Sign me up. It's led by Brothers Wes and Roger Butcher. It's basically a living history event that recreates the life of a fur trader in the 1830s. They've been doing this for like 25 years. Yeah, and they what and it started out basically they did it for free just to see how well it would do and 25 years later still doing it. I do like the idea of a mountain man camp. I don't like the idea that I may have to tap out early. I don't know that I'm wisened enough. I don't know if I'm ready for a man camp. A mountain man camp. <laughs> a mountain man camp. Okay? Not just any camp, a mountain man camp. I mean, I did bail out on church camp when I was a kid, so I don't know. You know, is this an overnight thing? I don't know. But I would probably give it a try. How about you? Absolutely. It looks like a lot of fun. Definitely kind of getting entrenched in mm-hmm. the act, the daily activities of that time frame, of that era in history, is really a unique way to look at that historical time period. Yeah, and that, something else that's probably, I'd say, more family-centric, Kid centric, not that learning like your kids wouldn't want to learn fur trading, but they have a a pretty cool like little. It's an animal barn that has you know everything from I don't know rabbits, chickens, goats, calves. I think you can even milk a cow there. I mean, so it's got again. You know, you said it early in the show, and I hate to say it because it's so cliche. It's one of those trips. They've got something for everyone. They quite literally have something. If Leonardo DiCaprio is here, he doesn't you just go anywhere. You know what I mean? It's got something for everyone, even with Leonardo DiCaprio. Do you think that Leonardo DiCaprio milked the cow? Is that what you're saying to me right now? I don't know, but he did work with Robert De Niro, who all once was quoted as saying, I've got nipples, can you milk me, Greg? So, in a game of six degrees of separation, I would say there's a connection there. <laughs> so those are just a few of the activities that happen on the calendar at Willow Rock, but there are a bunch of others. Right. They have, they have, I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you, but it's not just, I mean, they have events and then they have things to do and then more events. Right. But they, they have trail rides. Yeah. Um, they have a music festival. Not the Willow Rock Woodstock or whatever you said. Willow Rock Stock. Willow Rock Stock. I think that's a better, I don't know. I think it might be a better name, guys. <laughs> uh, they have a kids fest in June. Uh, they've got camps for kids. Yeah. So in July, so coming up pretty quick, they've got two separate camps, one for the younger kids, one mm-hmm. for the little bit older kids. Um, it looks like a lot of fun. And then in the fall, they've got shootout events. They've got outlaws and th- cow thieves and outlaw reunion events. 
Now well, they got Christmas lights. Even in, in the winter, they even have the Christmas lights. They've got every season covered. They do, and it again, it's a beautiful setting. Yeah, it is. You, it's hard to get that close to nature. Mm-hmm. I, this is the, the the thing about Oklahoma is, and I'm not just saying it because I was born and raised here. This is the type of landscape. This is the type of geography that I get into. It, some, it, it, Oklahoma has such an expansive geography. Where the prairie, where the mountains, where the where the valleys, where the hills, where where all of those things. I what better way to spend a weekend than just in the quiet serenity of the prairie. But again, more importantly, I'm super pumped on their events, but they mm-hmm. do, they do a lot of other stuff as well. Yeah. If you have any interest in any of the activities that we've talked about, or if you just want to learn more, their website is very well organized, yes. has lots of information. You can dig in deep, uh, learn a little bit more about the history of Wool Rock. It's woolarock.org, and Wool Rock is spelled W O O L A R O C. Of course, it, all the social medias are covered as well. Give them a call. Give them a, give them a look. For crying out loud, if you're if you're thinking, well, let's take a look and see what they're about before we we head out. I'm telling you right now, if we haven't found something for you, I, we can't help you. And that's why we're here. We are the only an OK show. Your one stop shop for <laughs> I don't know, man. For road trips and slop. Just kidding. You're cringe. <laughs> I like your cringe face, man. I really like it. So, yeah, you definitely want to check out the Wool of Rock uh, Facebook page. Check out all of their social media. But for us, check us out. We are the only an OK show. We are the only. The you know, only, only an OK show? Right. If there was, we are that. We at, at the top of the list, the cream of the crop, we are the only an OK show. And I'm Brett. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We are the only, only an OK show. I'm Harley. And I'm Brett. And we're out of here. Peace. I'm work dad slash cool uncle. I don't know why. I said one of the kids' name was Garrett. I was like, it's Garrett. He's like, man, you should really be a, you should have been a voice actor. Like, can we just constantly remind me why I'm in, why I'm not doing that thing? Yeah. I'll tell you why. Yay. I didn't do any vocal. Whoa, 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 rock. I want a rock. Quick, quick question. In a hundred episodes, what's your top five? What's your top your your Oklahoma top five bucket list? Mm. Don't say everywhere, because I, no. I, I I love you. No, I wasn't going to say everywhere. Well, I know, but occasionally we we try to butter everybody's bread bread at one time. There's not anywhere I would want to go. I, I there want is to problem. explore the Alabaster Caverns. I'd like to spend about a week in the Black Hills. That'd be cool. There's blackberries. Did you know that? <laughs> There's blackberries in the Black Hills, man. <laughs> um, Talamina, again? Again? You've yeah. done the Talamina? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Dude, I haven't been anywhere. Uh, where else? Uh, love to do a long kayak trip in southeast Oklahoma. Alone? No. no. Me and you, bro. <laughs> F. Or finally, exactly. Finally, we'll do it. You know what? Though I've thought about we need we should revisit maybe in a couple. Let's do it for forty five for my forty fifth. That way it gives Carson. We'll have we'll have a couple two year olds bouncing around. I say we we conquer the river again. Is it Illinois, yeah. Dude, that is literally drunk people. Like we did it, it knowing that there were like beer cans. Like is that a treasure? No, it's a bush can. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm saying you're you're saying conquer the Illinois like drunk people pass <laughs> out and make it down that run and don't drown like in an inner tube. I think why can't it's like going back to the moon. 
It's where it all started. That's where our Oklahoma adventure map began. Am I wrong? I don't disagree with you, but I don't think that going a three-mile trip down the Illinois River counts as conquering anything. I getting getting the first 100 yards without tip of the damn canoe, I think, is probably a victory. You could probably just get out and go home. Remember the last time we went? Dude, I remember. I was there. And I'm like passed out, and you're like, dude, let's just go home. I'm like, all right. So we left at 8 o'clock at night. No, that's not what we do. We slept on a rock in the freaking Wichita Mountain Wildlife Reserve at the base of a... We broke a law. We did. There's there's no camping where we camped. We did. We did the unthinkable. Is that the boldest thing that we've done? I don't know. Besides not dying. And (laughs) it's it's somehow managed to not have a near-death experience. Three... Two, one. If you like wildlife, if you like, I don't know, a medieval fair for pioneers, you're going to love the Woolawalk. 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 That is a really hard word to say if you have a speech impediment. So is speech impediment. It's really hard to say if you have one. Ready? Three, two, one. Ever dreamt of going to a medieval fair that wasn't a medieval fair, but okay, in no. fact a pioneer mm-hmm. fair mm-hmm. that's like a medieval mm-hmm. fair mm-hmm. for pioneers? No. You're going to love no. to lay on a woolly rock. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you ready to roll a rock with your ox out? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, okay, can I just say before we hit... Before we hit record, we, have, we officially hit record. Before we hit record, why do they not have a Woola Rock Festival? Oh, I'm, dude, I'm telling you right now, money. We just sold. We just gave you a million dollar, a billion dollar idea. And they're gonna, well, we just had Leonardo DiCaprio and Scorsese here. Yeah, yeah. but they're gonna make their deposit and they're gonna be back to back to New York. Where you? Do they have sheep there? I wonder if they do because you could wool a rock with your flock out. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, even better. What? Wool a rock stock. Ooh, yeah. Uh, don't wool a rock till you get enough. Not stupid. That was dumb. Why did I even say it? Three, two, one. Now I'm stuck on wool a rock festival. God. <laughs> All right. 2022 wool a rock stock. Wool a rock stock. Featuring the flaming lips. Probably. And Garth Brooks. And Garth Brooks and like all of the Oak and Hinder, like what? <laughs> what? Okay. The Nixons back together for the Woola Rock Stock Festival. No, Did I, you add adding words to it? The festival, the Woola yeah, Rock, Rock Stock, Stock <laughs> music, music Festival and Extravaganza. Uh, that's, the, not, that's not going to fit on the posters, bro. Carnival. <laughs> we'll give right. you like long posters. What do you say when your son leaves? Bye, son. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, three, two, one. Well...